YouTube. Oh, yay! We're live on so many platforms. We're still connecting on a couple others. Just checking the connection. Ooh. You're live! Okay, we're live. We are live. We are on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. So yeah. if you're an Adorna fan, you should be able to find us. Yes. <laughs> so that's good. Well, today we are joining you for DIY Wednesday. Yes. And if you tuned in a couple weeks ago, we had a really fun offer where you could get six free fat quarters and all you had to do is pay shipping. Oh my goodness. When they came out with that, I was like, you're stopped. Yes. So that is still going. We have restocked. So for those of you that didn't get in on it the first time, we have enough stock. And the great thing about it is not only do you get the six free fat quarters, but you get the table runner to pattern. make to the pattern for this. Oh my goodness. So it's a really great value. It's over a $20 value and the shipping is only $6.50. It's only for USA residents. Okay. So it's not open international. Okay. But can international email in and talk to you? <laughs> if they want to get on it. If they want to get on it, then Kay. sure. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, so you're telling me they get the six fat mm -hmm. quarters and a pattern. Yes. For just shipping. For only shipping, which is $6.50. That's insane. Yeah, so that's an awesome deal. So today, I want to kind of go back through, because the pattern that you guys are going oh, wait, to get... Where do they go get that? On the link. Because that's going to be the next the link. question. Okay, so the link is there. It's kind of a long link, so it's okay. not something I can just blurt out. Okay. So post. there's going to be comments with the links, so you okay. guys can get that. Perfect, so $6.50 shipping mm -hmm. here in the U.S., mm -hmm. Um, continental US probably yep and you're gonna get the fat quarters and the pattern mm -hmm. that's insane yeah so what I am here today for is because I want to show you guys the pattern that you get is for um, width of fabric but I am going to show you how to actually make this pattern with the fat quarters. so it's a little bit different than the pattern that you're going to get if that makes sense yeah because this is what I'm going to explain how to um, Tweak it for fat quarters. Okay. So I am here today to learn. Yeah. <laughs> Alice, I'm teaching you. her. So, okay. So a fat quarter, if you are unfamiliar with what a fat quarter is, is it is a quarter of a yard, okay. but it is cut fat. So instead of it being a long skinny strip, it is a like rectangle. So it is 18 by 22 inches. That does include the selvage. So by the time you cut that selvage off, sometimes it's around 20 inches. Yeah. Um, so that is what a fat quarter is. It's still a quarter of a yard. It's just a fatter a fat cut. quarter of the yard. Yes. And I just want to do a plug for Adornant Fabrics because that is something I do know. Yeah. The quality in it is superb. Mm -hmm. You're not, there's not a lot of sizing and filler that's put in it compared to other uh, department chains. Mm -hmm. So when you wash it, you aren't going to get what's called shrink. You're, it, it doesn't have that. And so when you sew up your project, it's pretty true to size of what you sew. Mm -hmm. It is. And you do want to um, pre-wash all your fabrics beforehand because oh, that's a good tip. it is 100% cotton. So, so there, is there will be, be that a shrink, little bit of a shrink. shrink. Not going to have like department stores where you yeah, lose where like, it's like inches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you still want to always pre-wash your fabrics. That's important. Um, okay. So once you have pre-washed your fabric... Then what we're going to do is we are going to start cutting this is these so fabrics. And so what you're going to do is you are going to lay out your fat quarter on the table. Okay. And you are going to cut it two and a half inches. Where's my rotary cutter and my ruler? Thank you. Okay, now here I'm going to give you guys lots of my tips along the way. Okay. Whenever you go to start cutting, you are going to want to make sure that um, you have at least one edge of your fabric lined up along your rotary mat. Um, and so you can see here, I usually always go with my selvage because I feel like that is a nice straight edge to where I'm going to start. And then when you make your first cut, I always cut off a little sliver because I really want to make sure my first cut is nice and straight. So you can see here, I'm going to um, start it right here and I'm just going to cut off a little sliver there to get my first cut to be nice and straight. Oh, pretty. So from here I'm going to go to two and a half inches. Now this is another tip I want to give you guys is you don't just look at the matte ruler you also look at your actual clear ruler because you can see here your clear ruler has lots of lines and so if you actually 
line up those lines to your mat, you're really going to have a straight cut. Because if I had it off center a little bit, you can tell right there because those dotted lines need to be directly onto my mat below. Does that make sense? So then you're really getting a nice crisp cut. So that is my tip, is to follow along with your clear ruler to your mat to get your straight lines. So I'm going to go two and a half inches. And then you're just going to sit and cut that up into your different two and a half inch. What you're going to need for this table runner is you're going to need 16 different strips, okay? Um, let's see, two and a half right there. So you're going to sit and cut your fat quarters up. Now, you're going to have extra with these fat quarters. So that's what's so cool about this project is you still have enough to even make some other fun projects. So I sat and cut up my strips into two and a half inch strips. With TV magic. Yes, with TV magic, I have my strips pre-cut. Or I guess we should say live magic. <laughs> yeah, live magic. So you can see here you're going to cut the six different designs and patterns up into two and a half inch strips. Goodness. And then I just kind of lay them out on my workspace here. Love it. And then you're going to start sewing them together. So I have pre sewn some. Okay. But I want to show you guys what I like to do. It's called chain stitching. So if you haven't um, ever sewn before, that's where you're just going to keep on sewing as you're going. So you're not really going to stop. Okay, that's cool. And start. And the other thing that I think a lot of people, if you're a new sewer, and maybe you took Comac or they call it like fax now. Yeah. Um, where you learned sewing. You had learned that back stitch button. Yeah. And you don't have to back stitch. So when you're quilting, why not? Because you have so many different intersections, okay. that creates a secure locking. Oh. So you as you start and stop on these, <gasps> I would be back stitching. You don't have to sit back stitch. Thank you, Georgiana, for giving us that important teaching tip. Yes. Because I am a back stitcher and that saves a ton of time now. Yeah. So you're just going to sit and you're just going to keep going. Okay, and the other thing I was going to ask is do I sit and have to pin all this together? No. You're going to freehand it. I'm going to freehand She's it. She's going for it. Okay, you want a quarter inch foot. This is another thing that if you're a beginner and you don't know this, my machine didn't come with a quarter inch foot. I don't know if mine did. I sewed for years and didn't know that. Yeah, mom put tape. <laughs> so I went and bought me. I have a Bernina. This I got when I graduated high school from yes. my mom. This is my present. Um, and so it is definitely older now and, and they are workhorses. They still work. Yeah, and if you guys so, want a recommendation, get a Bernina. Yeah, we like Bernina, but there's so many good ones. On there the are, there really are. And so I just sew my two right sides together. If you're a new sewer, we should probably explain that. Yeah, I'll explain that when yeah. you sew. Okay, so right sides, I can do that part. Okay, okay right sides together means, so if you can tell, on the fabric there is the art printed on one side and on the other it shows through a little bit there's a little bit of a bleed but um it's not as pungent and that's the side that you want um so when we say right sides together you're going to take both pungent sides and put them together so both art prints facing inside that way once it's sewn and you fold it open see what i mean so that's what right sides together is <coughs> Okay, so I'm at the end of my strip. So this is where you could lift your foot and pull it up and cut your string. But to save time, I'm just going to go right into my next strip. I'm going to leave it right there on like, my can machine. Can I turn the machine so these guys can see? Like, this is cool. So then you're just going to put them right start sides together. Right sides together. And I'm just going to place it under my foot. And because my feed dog under there will just grab my fabric. Go a couple more stitches and I can turn the machine. Keep going. That's so cool. So it's called chain stitching because it's going to keep all of them chained together. Yes. And then you just sew all your strips. So you just literally just sit here and chain stitch them together. Holy smackers. So here is this one. I chain stitched three of them together. So you can see here. That saves so much time. It does. It saves a lot of time. And then you just take your scissors and snip them. Snip that thread. So now I have my strips. Here's another odd question. It doesn't matter that that doesn't match up. Nope, because some fabric has different widths. Right. And so um, you can tell this one is a little bit longer. And the project we're doing today, it's not going to matter. So okay. I just sewed them together. Okay. Yeah. Do we have any friends tuning in? I always like that part. 
Tons and tons of friends, lots of waves and hearts. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm going to finish this off. Just I'm not familiar with YouTube and what you guys give out, so. I'm Hello. concerned. Someone commented and said the quality wasn't very good. Okay. And so I'm. Con this is our very first YouTube live. Yeah. yeah. So we will fix problems. I'm trying to be it as steady as possible. From here. Yeah. So it could be, it could it be streaming your own streaming. Yeah. Um, capabilities. Everyone's computers and streaming so different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna quick finish this off. And you can see, I just kind of keep my fingers on my fabric as I'm going to keep those together because I didn't pin them. Okay. Okay. No, I forgot to grab an iron, but that's okay. So if you're going to iron, well, you have to iron. So pretend like I have an iron. We have a steamer. And you are going to sew, you're going to iron these. Ironing is so important as you sew. Um, and you're going to actually sew, iron it so that your dark side um, lays down, so not on your light. So see, if I were to iron this way, then I would see my seam right here. So actually, I'm going to put my dark, and I'm going to iron. So pretend like you're ironing. And then that's going to allow that seam to lay on the dark side and be kind of, of your fabric and kind of be invisible. Oh, so whenever you're... That's another good, awesome another tip. Another good tip. Oh so my as you're going, you always want to you're the sew best teacher. your dark side. You want to iron your dark side to the... To the dark. To the dark, so that you Not don't the light. see your seam um, on the light side. So, that is my tip. So, if that were to be ironed, that's how that looks. Because you want wow. to press now all of your strips open. Okay. So, you'll put all those out on your table as you're going. Because okay. that's what's so fun about this particular project. Is that no one's table runner is going to look the same. Because you are just going to sew strips together that you want. So they're, they can make this project with their pattern and the fat quarters that they're going to receive for the free plus postage. Exactly. Oh my goodness. I bet you everyone's adding their cart like crazy. Yeah. That, was that is probably such a good, good it's such steal. a good deal. Yeah. Um, my recommendations as you're sewing your strips together is I like to do a dark with a light and not a dark to a dark. Okay. Because I think that's going to add some nice contrast. contrast as you're sewing. You can see this table runner has like a dark to a light. Um, and so I didn't do um, my golds to my golds. I always put a pattern with a dark. So does that Love make it. sense? So because you're gonna have your light fabrics, so you're gonna sew your darks to your lights. Because I just think that adds nice contrast as you're sewing. Okay, so once you have all of your strips, you are going to need eight different strips like this. So if that makes sense, I told you you're gonna have 16 two and a half inch strips. You're going to sew those 16 strips together, making eight of these. Does that make sense? Okay. So once you have eight of those, then you are going to pull out your acrylic template. Your Adorn It. Your Adorn It acrylic and template. And this, when you're doing that offer for the free fat quarters, the next prompt takes you to get these for a still of a deal. a still. Yes. So this are available on adornit.com for regular price, but if you're doing this um, really fun kit, uh, kit yeah. then you can get these for $24.99. Oh my goodness. Um, Georgiana, regularly what? Can you tell our Instagram, they're wondering where the link is, and you can't put it on Instagram, so it's in the next, how do you explain it? in that? our story. In our story. So yes. there is a link, it's just Why not up? right here on the yeah. live. So. On Instagram, it won't let you. And it's yeah. not on a domain that they can click through. No, the, it is on Instagram. It's just not available on the live. So just okay. look for our story, and then it's there. Okay. So there you we go. We will find you. <laughs> comment or DM us. Or and email say, info at adornit.com. Yeah. yeah, guys, yeah. if you're having a hard time finding the promotion, the free plus shipping, go yeah. ahead and email info at adornit.com, and we will send you that link out. We will direct you there. Okay, so this awesome kit is the next prompt after you get your fat quarters, and these are for an awesome price. Um, and so you're going to use this Adornet Half Hexy so, kit. I'm pausing real quick. So they're going to get the idea book, mm -hmm. or really their another teacher mm -hmm. book, and then their ruler and these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll go into more depth than that. Whoa. Okay, so add to cart. Add to cart. That's right. You definitely want these. Um, now, a Half Hexy acrylic template we come in the pattern that you're going to get your digital pattern. It comes with like a paper template. Uh -huh. You want this. It's going to yeah. be so much quicker and faster Save than your using life. the paper. You can definitely use that. I um, guess they could trace it onto some cardboard yep, or something. Yeah, you can definitely trace it onto like a tracing stencil. 
but this is just gonna last and last and this is such an easy pattern mm -hmm. that you can make lots of these oh yeah it make the perfect gift yeah it is so cute okay so and you and the finishing on it the machine quilting on it's really easy you can do that yourself too okay so you are going to lay your strips out okay. and so come in close I want to show you guys how to do this I am actually going to use a rotating mat. Holy smokes. I love rotating mats when I am using my template rulers. It makes it a lot easier to maneuver and cut. Um, this particular one is available on adornit.com. Um, any quilt shop has them. They are a must in my stash. So that's a little tip too. Now, I am not a perfect quilter, and I am sure lots of you guys are not perfect quilters. And even though I followed my instructions perfectly, you know what this one particularly is not a full width you can see here that i have a little bit um, my strip doesn't go exact some of these as i was sewing my thing i did it perfect and they matched up wonderfully but like this one you can see i'm not a perfect quilter so my tip for you is if you run into the same problem as i am to always have it at least line up on your bottom and if your top doesn't quite line up, that's okay. So I would say, as you're doing this pattern, to always have the bottom of your template line up, okay? Now you are going to just take and line that up, and then see now, by keeping pressure on that, I can rotate my mat and make my next cut, like so. And now I have my half hexi. Isn't that so fun? And then you can get two out of each uh, strip set that you make so you just take your next strip you line that back up and like I said I want to keep my bottom of my half hexi that longer edge is where I want to keep that lined up straight and then I'm going to trim it and I have a little bit over here that I needed to make sure I trimmed up and trim it up so now I have two of my hexes so you're going to go ahead and you are going to do that with all eight of your strips so that means you are going to get 16 different half hexes because you can get two of them out of each strip okay is everybody following along so far they love the templates so oh, love lifesavers okay so you are going to get a bunch of those and now is the time we can start piecing it together so after you've cut all of your half hexes more to you're going to you lay them out yes now I want to show you guys how this works because if you do it wrong, you're gonna be frustrated. And so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how that works. Um, Let me have I don't wanna do it wrong. one more. <laughs> I have one sitting, I had one on my desk here. This, no. Well, we have so many different pieces, you guys. Okay, well let's just go ahead and cut one more because I wanna show you with the different fabric. So let's just show you again how to cut these. So I'm lining it up along the bottom edge. Like that. I'm going to rotate it. Where and do they get one I'm of going these to mats? cut adornit.com. We sell these? Okay. That's awesome guys. Go get one. That's awesome. All right, then you are going mm -hmm. to start at the bottom and there is a diagram on your table runner instructions that you're going to get. Um, and so you're going to start down here and here is where you're going to start. And I know this is backwards, so I'm going to flip it like that to you guys. Now my tip for you is on the half hexagon that it's genius. There are these, can you see these holes in here that are cut out? These are exactly marked at a quarter of an inch inside of the half hexi. And so as you're going, you are going to want to mark because it makes it so much faster, you're gonna to wanna to mark each of those points um, with a mechanical pencil works great. Um, you just need to have something that is going to reach inside of that small hole to make your mark. So you can see there and there, I'm making my little mark. So I have two little teeny tiny dots because that's gonna show me my marking. And then up here on the top, I also want to mark my quarter inch because that is going to help me line it up. Now as I'm doing this, you are going to start sewing at that quarter inch. So you're lining your quarter inch up here to your quarter inch here that you marked, okay? 
And this, you definitely are going to want pins for. So you're going to pin that. Now, right here is where I want to show you straight edge. You will not have success sewing this table runner together if you do it that way. By doing it the way I showed you where you mark it and start at the quarter inch, it will create a perfect line for you to start building when you press that open. Okay, does anybody have any questions about how that works? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to start building this. So once you have your quarter inch, you want to pin it. And I absolutely love flat pins. These are great. So you're just going to pin it there. And you are going to want to pin it here. And then I put a pin right in the middle because I don't want this to move, okay? So you can see there. So now I am going to take it to my sewing machine. And I want you guys to see this. I am going to drop my needle at that line with the quarter inch. So I have my dot right there. With your quarter inch foot. And I am going to start sewing at that quarter inch line. And that is where I am going to start sewing. And then I am just, I know that the end of my hexagon is over here. So I'm going to start sewing over there to the end of that. Okay, lift it up. And then now when I press that open with my iron, Ta-da! You can see it is a straight line. This is just like a little tag. Um, you can tef definitely keep that on there or you can snip it off. Um, it really does not matter, but you can see now I have a straight line. That is the base of your table runner, okay? So this is where now we're just going to start building with each one of our hexagons. So now that I have that straight line, I can take my next hexagon um, right here and I have a straight line to start sewing. Okay, once again, get out your half hexi. I did this with every single hexi that as I started building, is now I want to mark again those points so that I make sure I start and stop in the correct places so that it makes it very easy to go along. And you want them to be, you don't want to, like I said, line it up that way. You want it to be right there in the middle of your quarter inch so that you can see right there. And then now I am going to pin again. Pinning is crucial as you are quilting and wanting to make sure your pieces line up perfectly. And this is a really str like stress-free project, I felt like. Like it's straight lines, easy to do, easy to mark. Sometimes when I'm making projects and there's lots of little pieces, like it's like kind of anxiety. But this is, it was so fun. I've made this several different times and I absolutely love it. It's one of my go-to projects because it's so simple. So I dropped my needle at that little dot and now I'm going to take it right along that edge and I'm going to stop at the dot on the other end for my needle. Take it out, bring no it over, stitch. no back stitch, pull out my pins. Oh, and you wow. can see there. So now you're going to rotate it. See, now I have another straight edge. You just keep building your hexagons from those two pieces. How and you just cool. keep going. You're going to be left with this. Ta da! Aww, Isn't that so, so neat? And this is all from those free fat, fat quarters. quarters. You made all that from that? Yep. They have enough and to make And you have this. enough to make this, yes. Oh, you guys. So now this is the center portion. So you can see here that you have um, a weird edge up here and a weird edge down on the bottom because of those hexagons. So all you have to do is put it on your mat and you are just gonna square that up and cut it off. That's awesome. Okay. okay. Take your rotary cutter. And square that up. Squaring. Just like tap on, tap on it. Love it. Can you see that? So now I have a square mm -hmm. edge. That's so neat. Now what you will not have enough of for this, and so I recommend you purchase, is a yard of fabric because you're going to want to have um, a backing and a border. So let okay. me finish squaring and this we, up. We sell one yard cuts on our website, right? We do. So you can go to adornit.com and find some more fabric. And what I recommend and love with the, these particular fabrics 
is this gold stripe. It's so pretty. It looks gorgeous with this line. It pulls in that metallic. Um, so I would definitely buy a yard of this gold stripe um, to put on the border and the back of your table runner because once you're done with this and then you add your borders, you're going to want to get some quilt batting. Okay. Um, the, there's so many different weights and thicknesses. It's totally up to you. I like a thin batting for okay. projects like this because you're not going to wrap up in it it's yeah. for decor. So you don't need um, a really thick batting for this particular project. Then you're going to um, either take it to a machine quilter or you yourself can do it where you take and you layer your backing, your quilt batting, and then your quilt top. And you're going to want to uh, machine that together to hold them in place. Does that wow. make sense? So you can see here how that has been quilted because that makes all three pieces that you layer together um, be one piece. Yeah. Very neat. Now, what I am going to do for my particular table runner with these free pack quarters is there was enough left over for your binding if you want to do a scrappy binding. Okay. So I took... Let me find it, guys. Like I said, I have so One many moment. pieces. <laughs> yeah. So Let's if you find take more your TV strips, magic. I have them here. Is this them? Yes. No. No. <laughs> guys, I feel like the magician right now, where it's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's coming up. Okay. Well, if you take your strips and you cut six inch those strips. No. I have them here. We've had a big day. TV blooper. Yeah. You can ha uh, do a scrappy binding. And a binding is this, what's right along the edge here. Okay. And so if you want to do that, then you can create a scrappy binding by taking all those strips and chain stitching them together again and creating a really cute scrappy binding so it's with all these cute. pieces. And it would make the most darling scrappy binding. That'd be darling. It'd be so cute. So does anybody have any questions? No questions? Okay. This is such a fun project. Gotta get you this. Yeah. Now if they bought the free fat quarters mm -hmm. and they now want this, mm -hmm. can they do that? Mm, you can't go back. So oh. you can go to adornit.com and get that and snag this. Yes. Or you definitely want just them. now that we've restocked, go get you some more fat quarters and then remember to snag this. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys in the the awesome template value pack. Let's open it up. Allie, go ahead okay. and open that up. Okay. I found it. Ta -da! Oh, cute. Okay, so you can see I took my two and a half inch strips and I sub cut them into six inch strips. Cute. To create a scrappy binding. Love it. So once you sew all those together, then you fold it in half right sides out and that is how you create your binding. So that is then what you sew to the edge. So oh you can heck, see how so cute, cute that will be when I finish it to have a scrappy binding along my table runner to pull in all those colors. So cute. So that is what your table runner, what you can get out of those six free fat quarters yeah. is a really cute Now they're runner. not just getting any fat quarter that we have because we have a lot of fabric we offer. Yes. They're getting these uh, similar prints. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So, so you want to make this? sure they're not getting like some purple in there or anything. No, they're getting the, the okay. color. So what you see is what you get. So that makes that promotion even more special and yummy. Yeah. Someone is asking, is there a benefit to the ruler being green? I'm assuming it's the hexi. I love it being green because then you can, you can it. see it. So like it, when it's on your stash, it's easy to see. Where as a clear ruler, I'm constantly losing this thing. Like, because it blends into what you're using. Yeah. So the green is just a helpful color to know where it is. Oh, That's okay. the only purpose of it being green. And I That's have some people who actually want to see the hexies. Okay. Can you show them the hexies yes. one more time? Mm -hmm. So inside the kit promotion that you can get for what is the price? $24.99 if you buy it with this promotion. With the promotion mm -hmm. site. On our website, it is not. It's $35. It's still a good value on the mm -hmm. website, but on the promotion website, which we can give you the link to, $24.99. Oh my gosh, that's a good steal. And so you're going to get this awesome idea book. And inside here is the patterns. Like, look at this. So there's 
Oh my god. This cute quilt. So you can the great thing about this pattern that I just showed you how to do this is you can make it any size you want because you can just keep building and adding to it. I want to make it into a comforter. Yeah. So if you wanted to put it on a king size quilt, you would just add more rows across and add a few more hexagon herring bones down and you can create that. It tells you exactly how to cut these out if you're using jelly roll strips, if you're using stacks, if you're using um, just regular yardage. It shows you how to piece them together. It shows you all these really cute projects. So this book is valued. Diagrams. It's 20 bucks. Yeah. I mean, that's such a value right there. Cute pillow project. And then this really cute pattern right here Which that I'm going sold to talk about this morning. So One more time, our, we have lots of Instagram people asking where the link is. Okay. We will add it afterwards, so, so we're not we ignoring will, you. We'll we promise you'll get there. We'll add it soon. There. And DM us at, or email info at Adorn It, guys. Yeah. And we'll we give love you that. all the excitement. Yes. Unfortunately, Instagram doesn't let us give you the link. Boo. Okay, and then you're going to get these other two. And that's why I was showing someone today. They're like, okay, I get how to use this. Now, what do I do with these? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Endless possibilities. Okay, that's where I'm at. <laughs> okay, so this is a really cute quilt on the back side. Um, it is using this small oh, the baby hexagon. Size. Now, I want to show you guys this one that my sister pieced. It is the exact same pattern, exact same concept. She just made it with, hold this up, Allison. Oh, she made it with the medium. So that's what's so fun about these hexagons is you can really adapt your patterns to the different size of templates. So now if you wanted to make it even bigger and do this size, cut it on the fold, and you're going to have a giant hexagon. So really the possibilities, and you're going to be using this over and over again in your quilting stash. Yeah, I love it. Um, and what's so great about these, let's come in closer again is you can see that they again have the holes inside on the quarter inch. So what's great about these is you start and stop just like I showed you with this half hexagon and that's what creates the ability to make hexagons because it used to be that you could only do this if you were doing English paper piecing but because of these templates you can machine piece together hexagons. It's fabulous. So that is how you use these. And then you can see this cute little pillow right here. It uses them again, too. So if you want to make small projects or if you want to make large quilts. So for $24.99, they're getting the amazing book. Yeah. This big mm -hmm. must-have. Yeah. And those? And these. Jeez. Yeah. It's great. Drop the mic. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, so that is today how to create from your six fat so quarters awesome. a really cute table runner project. Yes, so cute. Yeah. You guys need that. So, like we said, we'll be commenting where the links are because you guys, we just restocked mm -hmm. and they went so fast last time and we had our girls cut because people didn't understand that the fat quarters aren't pre-cut. We, our team has to hand cut them, which is another reason why. So local friends know you can't come pick them up. They're at a different distribution center being processed mm -hmm. um, because we have such an influx of orders. Yeah. So go to the link that we're going to give you guys, DM or email info at adornit.com so that we can get you this promotion. Because mm -hmm. it's for a limited time. Once we're out, we're out. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you guys for joining us for DIY Wednesday. Okay. Bye. Okay. Wait. I don't know how to end. And we're still on on YouTube.